Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. We have the Tem Tech or Time Tech, whatever you want to call these things. Time Tech, NVMe PCIe uh, Gen 3x4, 3 NAND SSD for Macintosh only. Okay, and that's because of our funky connector. This is the original 128 I hauled out of this thing. This is my early 2015 MacBook Pro. Now, this drive will work in a variety of Macs, like a huge variety, both early, mid, and late models of MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, iMacs, and Mac Pro, believe it or not, is on the list. I'm like, okay, cool. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritties here. You can check all the specs yourself online. The link will be in the description below if you want to buy this thing. And I would at least recommend this drive over the other two flops we, that we had. Um, can't remember the exact name of the original one. I think that one was actually in my last video uh, with the Gamer King, which was a miserable, horrible failure piece of junk. And both of those drives cost nearly $100 a piece. Actually, the one cost over after the sale was done. This was only $69.99, regular everyday price for the same size drive. And this is a half a terabyte model, but it also comes in a 256 and a one terabyte too. Now, I have Mac OS Monterey installed, and I've been running Monterey since the get-go. These drives, by the way, when you buy them, part of your read-up that you need to read is the simple fact that the important note on here is that it mu your main drive that you have right now in your Mac before swapping it out must have already had a minimum of Mac OS High Sierra only. Otherwise, the drive either will not work or will not work properly, okay? It's a very important thing. It has to do with firmware updates the way I take it. Um, another note that they make on the TimeTech one uh, that I did not see on the others because I didn't have the issue was this TimeTech SSD is, in all capitals, not compatible with Apple Boot Camp. And then it says install a Windows volume on that drive in brackets on MacBook Pro 11,1, MacBook Air 6,1, or MacBook Air 6,2. I have a MacBook Pro 12,1. By default, with Monterey at least, FireVault encryption is automatically turned on. And as such, it will bark when you try and launch the Boot Camp installer to partition the drive. So... You turn off FireVault encryption, and voila, like magic, it goes in, and it works perfectly fine. Okay, so let's get on with this. As far as Blackmagic disk speed test goes, it always reports lower speeds than what the actual speeds realistically are. Now, you will find that using a program like this, it's a benchmarker. It does torture the living hell out of the drive and it will slow down the write cycles at times here and there to some pretty slow speeds but then it comes right back to life again okay but on average we are seeing uh 14 and change on the read which is pretty close to the 1500 read they claim or up to that now or sorry the read speed they say is 2000 um the write speed they say is 1500 so out of the 2000 read we're getting about 14 and change on average the, the write speed is, is 1,500. We are seeing between 1,000 to almost 1,200 on the write speed. It's going to fluctuate, okay? So anyways, just as a short little test here as an example, let's see if I can give you a bit of an angle here. I know it's not as close up as it could be, but um, so we're seeing 1,221.8 write, 1,460 read, 1,223 write, and 1468 read pretty good okay now that's based on a one gigabyte test if we go to the five this is where it tortures it really good and that's going to dump us down to 1241 right and our read side is going to be 14639 our write speed is going to be 12 and it's going to knock down because it's finally doing it it's torturing it and uh, we should see a final write speed in a minute here. Well, hopefully less than a minute. But this is what I mean. This happens on all drives. I've seen this happen to so many drives. 
you know, unless they're like super, super high end, super expensive drives. But 223, and we got a 1466 here on the reed. This takes another dump and then zips right up, just like I said it would. 1236, 1235, 9, and 1453 on the reed. So, pretty good results there. Quite happy with that. We see the odd time where it does take a bit of a snot because that's just the way it's going to happen. And it happens to all drives. Even this Apple drive is not immune to that sort of thing happening on the speed test. And this thing doesn't even get... Well, the, the highest number I saw on this was 8 and change. Uh, for the read side and the right side, I saw just under 700 uh, on the full average. So, And then I saw some dumps as well like we could expect to see so it's just we're torturing the poor thing right anyway so um windows environment okay let's swap over to that so we're going to hit restart and then we're going to hold down the option key and we're going to click restart and we're going to keep holding this key down until the the thing restarts and comes to our our choices uh of which os we want to boot with this is the fast way to do it there is a slower way which means going through startup disk and this and that, and you'll have a similar experience with Windows side. So we, we want Windows on here. <coughs> now I made a 200 gig uh, partition for the Windows environment, because that's all I needed. And I got 312 aside for the uh, Mac side, okay? So of course now it's gonna want my password. Sorry guys, that's the way it is. All right, and boom, and we're in Windows. And boom, we're gonna fire up Far Cry. So I've got Windows 10 on here. I have heard of people finding a way around the whole Windows 11 thing, being able to get that going with Boot Camp. I'm gonna look into that because I think that'd be cool to try and do that. Now, I will say this for the early uh, 2015 uh, MacBook Pro, um, it's a dual core uh, chip in this thing. It does not have enough poop to go to all the very high and ultra high settings in Far Cry, but you will get full out straight up all high settings. Absolutely no problems. And full resolution of the screen as well at, well, I think it's what, 2560 by 1600. Not a big deal there. Okay. And uh, so yeah, we're doing really well here. Rocks out pretty nice. Now I just got to find my way out of this joint. There we go. Move my mouse cable. I got to unwrap my mouse cable yet. There we go. And the outdoors. So absolutely no problems playing this game. It does a great job. And same with the other games I have on here. I've got like Gothic 3 and a few others. Yeah, you can try. I'm gonna go steal a gun. So, it works great. No problems. And if we want to go back to the Mac side, we simply click here, click here. Uh, hold down Option, click Restart. And it will automatically default to the left side, which is our Mac drive, and allow us to go right back into the Mac side. And then we just hit the Enter key, boom. A lot faster than going around the long way, okay? So that's my recommendation. Use your option key to your advantage. So I've only had the drive in since yesterday, Sunday, but I've been torturing this thing all day yesterday. Um, and course right up into this morning um, this is probably I don't know my like 10th or 15th attempt doing this video um, and um, yeah so I've been kind of pushing this thing a bit and it's been doing far better than the Gamer King did I mean the Gamer King was a screw up right from the get-go uh, again password sorry yay got the password right love that alien head so uh, yeah and we're right into a desktop here and ready to rock and roll again. So, anyways, if you're wondering the full specs on my machine, um, this thing only has 8 gigabytes of RAM, which does kind of suck. 
Um, but it is a 2.7 gigahertz dual core i5, 8 gigs of RAM. It's got the 512 drive in it as well. Um, native resolution is 2560 by 1600. Our storage, of course, is Mac, Macintosh HD and Boot Camp. Um, but the total storage is 512. Um, and then, I, like I said, I made a 200 gig section just for Boot Camp. But remember, with Boot Camp, if you want to put it in on this drive, you must turn off Fire Vault encryption or it is not going to go in, which made no sense for them to say it's not compatible with Apple Boot Camp when it certainly is. Okay, you just have to turn off Fire Vault encryption. Can't say that enough times. You'll, you'll figure it out, right? Anyways, so overall, I'm pretty happy with this drive. Um, I think that right now it deserves a four and a quarter out of five. Um, no problems. Uh, the link will be in the video description below. So if you're interested in buying this drive, um, it would be the one that I would recommend. Um, it's also your last option without spending far more money, um, which could yield you uh, maybe even a much better drive. Who knows? Or it could be a much worse experience. I mean, I bought two drives that uh, one didn't even fit for some odd reason, yet yeah, this thing fits early, mid, and late models. The first one, um, that was my bad, it did say mid, um, so I screwed up, but it should have fit anyways, because if this fits early, late, and mid, there's no reason why the other one shouldn't have worked either. So it just would not mount, it just, it was too long, right? So it's kinda like, eh? you know. I did notice the notch is a little deeper on this one though. Now the Gamer King one I bought, that one um, had no problems fitting in mounting. Um, I got an OS on it and everything, but it screwed up right from the get-go. It, it, like even to get to the desktop would not be that fast to see your screen. It would be like blacked out for like several seconds and then finally kick in. And that was right from the beginning. I thought, well, maybe it's just because of this. And I tried to make up a lot of excuses for it, but unfortunately it was a piece of garbage right from the get-go and it just got progressively worse. And that drive was like about a hundred bucks. So this is like 70 bucks. So yeah, this also proves that sometimes you can spend less and get more for your money. Now there are better quality drives out there at far higher prices, but you have to think about what computer you're putting this thing into. What's that computer even worth? Is it worth that investment? Now to me, 70 bucks for a half a terabyte, that was pretty good. Um, a 256, um, that's only gonna set you back about 44 bucks. On a one terabyte is 107. Um, so, I mean, 107 bucks, that's not bad for a terabyte, you know. Um, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money. I only paid 200 for the MacBook, okay. And even if this was a 16 gig of RAM in this thing, it'd still be only a $200 computer. So, I did kind of pay a little bit more than I should have, but I needed something better than the MacBook Air. Uh, because that thing is definitely a weak body computer in compared to this. This is like twice the horsepower easily over the air uh, of the same early 2015 model. So it's kind of like, well, this is going to work better and it's got more horsepower and I can go to all high settings. Um, I could do all high settings on the other one too. Wasn't a deal, a uh, big deal, uh, but it's also, well, the air is the air. You know what I mean? It was only, it's only a, I think there's a 1.6 or a 1.8 dual core in that one. But this one, way better, um, more powerful, of course. And um, yeah, it, uh, it's just more of a machine than the Air could ever hope to be. So I kind of went with this one in the end. Um, but um, the Air is fine otherwise. I mean, it's not a bad computer completely, but... You know, this serves a multitude of purposes for me that the air can't even handle. So you, you got to kind of do things as you do them, I guess, in life and make your choices and, you know, you live with them, right? Um, I'm still after the higher end version 2015. I know where there's one for sale right now. Um, and that one is already 16, I think it's 16 by half a terabyte. But I can bring the drive up higher, which I would, because uh, that one is the 15 inch model. And I'm waiting for the price to drop to the point where what I'm willing to pay for it. And I'm pretty sure it will unless he sells it. So, you know, and if he does, it's not meant to be. It's just the way it goes. So there you go. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, your thing. Link in the video description to buy this, uh, no problem. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned a lot, and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.